Well, when it comes to 2022 and the trends that I expect to see in banking and financial services, I mean, there are lots of them, but I guess if I could distill them down to perhaps three, one would be uh, increasing responses of clients to digital customer engagement, so their customers engaging digitally. Uh, if you think about pre-pandemic, the way that we engage with our banks was one way, and now it's very much online. It's uh, contact centres, it's apps. Uh, very few people are actually going into bank branches. So if you're a, a bank in this situation, what are you going to do? What's your branch strategy? How do you reimagine the contact centre? How do you turn it into a channel for sales and new products as opposed to just queries and complaints? That is a huge trend that we're seeing in the market right now. The second one relates to employees, and that is determining their productivity, trying to improve their productivity, trying to motivate them, trying to improve their experience. Because as we know, the battle for talent is raging in every industry right now, and banking is no different. So understanding what the customer wants is great, but also understanding what your employee wants and how to get the best out of them. Along with that goes then how to measure return on investment. And that investment could be in the form of technology spend, and it could be in the form of salaries paid to employees. How do we actually measure objectively uh, whether or not we're spending money in the right way? So I'd say those are pretty big trends for me right now.